to do on a hot summer's day is go to the ocean. I love sitting on the beach, playing with the sand, swimming in the waves, checking out tide pools. There's also so much cool science that can be learned about the ocean. This is because the ocean covers about 72% of the Earth's surface. Therefore, scientists are still trying to learn a lot of new things about the ocean. Today, we have two really fun ocean activities for you. So let's get started with a science experiment. We will be investigating how currents work. To start, take a bowl and fill it with some water. Then add one drop of blue coloring to the water. Then take out a baking dish and pour some more water into this. Add in the blue water that you just made. Next, put in some ice cubes to make the water nice and cold. Once the water is cool enough, take out any ice cubes that remain in the blue water. Now boil some water. In a separate bowl, add in the hot water that you just boiled. Also add one drop of red food coloring and stir until it's combined. Going back to your baking dish with the blue water in it, pour in a little bit of the red hot water that you just made. Watch what happens. If you look closely, you can see the circular-like motion that the water is moving in. These are currents. So, what happened? Well, currents are the continuous movement of water from one place to another. And ocean currents are affected by wind, temperature, the density of water, and salinity, how salty the water is. In our experiment, the differences in temperature between the hot water and the cold water created currents. When the hot water was added into the cold water, the cold water sunk underneath the hot water and tried to move away from it. This created movement that we could see by the different colors of the cold and hot water. We also saw those circular movement patterns called eddies. And eddies are important to the ocean because they help move nutrients from the colder, deeper parts of the ocean up to the surface. So that way, living things on the surface of the water can use those nutrients. Now let's head over to Katie for our second ocean activity of the day. Hi everyone, Katie here. Did you know that each living organism in the water interacts differently with the ocean currents? But some can actually move against the ocean currents and that includes jellyfish. Today, we are going to be doing a super fun art project to create our very own jellyfish. You'll need tissue paper, black construction paper, scissors, contact paper, and ribbon. Make sure to be careful and have an adult around to help you with using the scissors. First, we are going to cut our tissue paper into squares. I personally chose to get some really fun and colorful tissue paper. Next, we are going to draw what we want the body of our jellyfish to look like. Once we've sketched it out, we are going to cut around the edges and then cut a hole out in the middle. Then, you are going to cut a piece of contact paper that is larger than your jellyfish. Next, remove the protective sheet and tape the contact paper on top of a table with the sticky side facing up. Place the black jellyfish outline down on the sticky side of the contact paper, and then start placing the tissue paper squares on the contact paper. Don't worry about the paper going over the black lines. You'll be cutting it out once you're all done. When you finish adding the colorful tissue paper, go ahead and take another sheet of contact paper and place it down on top of your jellyfish to seal it. Then trim around the outside of the black lines of the jellyfish, but leave a little bit of the contact paper around the edges so that it stays sealed. Finally, cut some decorative ribbon and tape it to the back of your jellyfish. Then you are all done and you can hang it up on a wall or a window to see its beautiful colors. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for new videos every week. You are brilliant. Bye, everyone.